Welcome back to part six of my stream of Final Fantasy Seven. I mean Final Fantasy Nine. Sorry, Jesus, my brain's slow today. So much fun. Anyway, in the previous chapter, we explored Limblum and we partaken in the festival of um, the hunt. And with a whopping two sixty points, Zidane took the fresh place and with the title and his cash of five thousand gil. But something just came up during the hunt, and we gotta find out what. So let's resume. Reach out. Our kingdom's being attacked by someone of force. We're severely outmatched. Please send me your forces immediately. Emmy looks like an army of mages. Pretty steeped brown hats. King and I all front. You will send me your forces to the first CIB. Thank you, Richard. Takes logically have her stay there. Sorry, I, I kind of stopped throwing the voice. I can't do a female's voice in here. Sorry. Looks like Mercia is under attack, huh? What could be going on?
is a Maluka Corrado, okay? Now, folks, we're going to be doing a couple of items before we get to the Gizla Maluka Corrado. So, don't fret. Okay, we'll put that on him later. He'll need that. He'll definitely need that, so... We'll leave those on here. I mean... That'll come helpful. That is definitely must. That's the only ability Cray will ever uh, get this exclusive to run. And of course, you got your staples like Antibody and uh, Slash and Bird from Killer. Now, since we got Zidani, again, we're about to go back to parties that involve battles. We're going to equip the Mithra Dagger. Bright Eyes. Yeah, let's do that. That'll definitely be useful later on. Anyway. This is the only time we'll be allowed the third floor for here, for now. Anyway, make your way down. First things first before we leave anywhere. Mid-level, go back to town. I want to buy and sell some stuff. Especially if there's items I can buy and make and still at the, um, synthesis. Let's get prepped. to the castle after this. It's the only way we'll be able to get to the Dragon's Gate. <laughs> I'm so younger again. I pull out some crazy stuff from my earlier days. Boys, I used to go to the spores down the east of your chest choking with some teeth. Planes that they weigh with the girls sure and saw. These were the best days of my life. Yeah, no change of dialogue here for that guy. You'll still say he's got to be dumb. Deuce. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, did you put any sleep in me? It wasn't me! I only have one customer. Only one. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, like I said, this is where we can break the fourth wall of the game. Like, you can say it sucks, or we're having fun. I'm sorry, I'll be honest, folks. Thanks, Grim Poetry. Poetry. Anyway, we're so missing the so. Keep a hold of the orbs. They will come handy later on. Trust me. Anyway, make our way over here. Buy a couple of items here on this floor. There we go. Sight is great. Look at my hammer. And I'm making it out of a frying pan. 
That shit better be cast iron and freaking Teflon coated, homie. You ain't gonna do much with just a pan made out of uh, spirit hammer made out of spe uh, iron. I'm aluminum. It's headgear I was looking for. Sorry. Make our way to Gizzle and Strato by going to the Dragon Gate. What the heck are you doing? Undead Killer, yes, yes. Also, I forgot to mention. Item that you would have gotten if you got 100 from um, your festival and the, uh, from the um, acting part, the sword fight, and uh, the play. Not only would you get a shitload of money, you would also get a moonstone from uh, Cream Behind. But, like I said, I don't like using the add on spoiler because it complicates matters. So, what I'm going to do is keep going. Now you have permission to go all the way there, but you don't have permission to go up to the um... The only drawback is you cannot go to Minister um, to the upper level and go see Reason Kill. You won't have permission to do that freely until like later. We go visit the uh, other areas, but now. Anyway, welcome to the uh, Serpent Dragon's Gate Trolley. So take the Dragon's Gate Trolley to there. Take a look here. Okay, yeah, I got monster. Fun. All right, here we go.
There's a reason why I want to keep her in a party and kill killing dragons for her. Oh, nice. I know it's stupid, but I'm gonna put Freya on the front lines. Dragon, kill him.
You're gonna probably hate me for a bit, but I'm gonna be doing this place a little bit. Oh, I'm me, the master of this force. This Chocobo's my friend, Kipo. His name is Choco. And this is Chocobo's Forest. Very good free place to get some good items and to earn some cat uh, earn some items free and charge only 60 bucks. Ugly girl came that way. Eyes, this one was the best one to me. Anyway, now we got Mini, and we got Choco back. Talk to Mini. Welcome to one of the most funnest and the best way to harvest the items in this game. Chocobo Hot and Cold. Basically, Choco is playing as a minesweeper. Pay attention to his cries. Oh, at least it's close to something. It's close by. There we go. Dig, dig, you worthless bird. Dig. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, found it so early? Tight. You guys see me playing this a lot of times, folks. I'm sorry. Saw greens, yes. Oh, 
Ooh, you trying to flex? Get him within uh, 20 seconds time, uh, 10 seconds of your last fight, and you get more points. If you get more than four, you get this. It'll give you 10 minutes of extra time, and you'll get double the points you've ever earned from everything. Like, so if you find like another chokeable, uh, still the pattern steam, instead of 20 points, 25 points, you get. Fine. Second, third, fourth. Nice. Pay attention to point systems too, they help. What's the still with patterns? Can you see? Picture some location of the stone. This place must have tons of treasure. Why don't we go on before we move this place? Be a charge. Go outside, press Y when you're running Choco. And what you want to still you want to find, you dig with X. I got it. Let's call this a choke graph. Choke graph. Like I said, this is a good place to harvest diamonds when you are like in a cheap mood. And you feel like, you know, having some fun. I'm sorry, it wasn't 10 seconds, it's 5 seconds within the five. Like, if I got him, like, before, uh, went down to 45 seconds. Oh, you think this is the headache now? Wait until you get Chocobo a lot more stronger. Yeah, that would have been a chocobo piece, I know it. Ugh. Draw back to the game, it's hard. I mean, you have too much fun, you gotta hurry fast.
It's a slow build, but take a look. You get some items a shit little times whenever you play this game. Also, here's the point system. 10 points will get you the Shawl Greens, 100 for, uh, 150 for a Phoenix Penon, 250 for an Ore, 450 for an Ether. The Bitch Lance card will be 1800, a Wing Edge, 3500, a Protect Ring, 8500, and a thousand walking points you'll earn a Blow of Lords, the best defense for your mages. I'm sorry, folks, I know I'm taking so much time doing the Chocobo's Killer Quest, but trust me, it's fun. It's a good thing you earn some bucks and such. that one picture graph here. We'll find more later on. I'll make a video of this to do a side quest of all this game, of all the uh, Chocobo um, things. Sometimes I have rotten luck or no luck at all to find items here, trust me. Sorry, folks, even one hot second, I'll be right.
Sorry about that, folks. I'm back now. And also, I'm going to give you a heads up. I'm going to be taking off in a few minutes to some food in me about after I do this next few minutes. This video goes up to an hour, and then, yeah, I'm going to take a break. Oh, well. Antidote. Uh, Said there will be times I will not get anything that close to it. Oh, there we go. Over this fish bread. Yes, it is. Okay, there's a reason why I got, um, Moxer to help me out here with this one. He gives you better clues than this thing. We'll go out there in a few seconds to take a look. Said mills are no luck at all sometimes. Also, heads up, when you find all the choco graphs for now in this area, Mini will tell you something like that. Choco says when he Choco says he won't find any more things here. Try looking around it. Okay. This area is in the area of the medieval forest. But 
We won't be able to go there for a while, so we can, like they say, leave it alone. We're gonna keep looking around. Said, what I just found is like about $350 worth you'll find in the store. So, like, if you're lacking items, Chocobo's Garden is not the best thing to do. Chocobo's on um, hot cold, the best thing to find for items. Right there, you know you can just get you one more hit, but not enough. Oh, by the way, there is another way to earn cash just by just digging around for chocobo bomb um, toys. Oh, 
Poker Brat myself. Five bucks. Fifty bucks and that's it. What's this chocobo graph, please? Let's see. It's a fragment of a chocobo graph, you know? There's some card in the back. It's B. I'll put it in key item under your enemy. Take a look. I think you're supposed to collect pieces so you complete one. Anyway, let's go see. Take a look. Chocobo graph. Not this one. Oh, one more thing? Ah, yeah. But once that gets grayed out, you're told, like, you can't use it, you don't have the ability to use it, to find it. Ooh, that was fast. Actually, folks, this will be my last hunt of the, uh, for now, after this. Like, um, for example, say if I was to find one item five seconds after I find the other, and I'm on bonus time, instead of just getting ten, five points, you get ten points extra. And plus the item's uh, value, times two. So like if you found a chocobo grab within five seconds afterwards, which is not impossible unless you got a high level beat, you will get 50 points, and plus the additional 5 points you'll get for being so close to it. Ooh! Hold on to ores. They are very handy later on. Trust me. What was that? Oh yeah. Say for example, I found a chocobo graph piece. I got within 5 seconds after which that'll be uh, like an additional 5 points, plus the additional 5 points you get to That's 30. As if I do, you get 60 points. Pretty nifty, huh? Oh, you can get higher blood power too when you go to higher areas, like the garden, the air garden, or the uh, lagoon. Four, three, two, four. Hold on to every bit of four you get, especially later on. There'll be another side quest that um, you won't know about, but trust me. You'll want to hold on to your horse and whatever gems you get from that side quest. Sounds like my friend was watching Avatar, the second one. I'm gonna 
I'll watch it after I, after I uh, finish this. And I'll be back to shoot some more. Okay, folks, so don't worry, you're gonna have a nice little break after this. Stuff, folks. I'm gonna get one more item before I go farther. I'm gonna keep going until I get all the chat wraps here. It's a pain in the butt and it takes time, but trust me, it's worth it. Chocobo. right there by field he tells you you need another ability you'll get you'll get that soon enough but right now let's continue looking for any more of the missing choke grabs i know it's i know i'm wasting so much time folks i know i promise like oh after this after this after this but bear with me the minute you find faster here the less chance you have to come back here Ooh, a little 10 beat
Yeah, I was right. Six hundred bucks. Hell yeah, I'll take that. So far, I haven't lost enough of my cash. Almost one fifth, four fifths of my money, but four five sixths of my money back. There we go. Bucks made a profit there. Yep, I did. And yep, as you can see, I got an F load of items 30 potions, 10 hot greens, 3 green beans, 22 pashaw greens. Like I said, it's a slow process, but if you ever want to get items here for like 60 bucks or such, you know what you can find. If you've got real good luck, Chocobo um, Hot and Cold Game is your ace. I know I got like two more of the chocolate grass, I got fine, like three more in there. Well, now, by the way, Chris, 
soon you get the trouble of uh, a couple of things. Like, you get some of these things lacking, like, uh, the bed and the Dr. Google Google. You're gonna have more ground to cover in this game. Now. more cash than I had. Remember, I had like about 2,000 here. Well, 2,200. Now I got like about 2,800. It's a slow process, like I said, but you'll earn some cash here if you're careful. Play one more game for this on live, folks, and then after that, I'm gonna uh, play the stream because so I gotta get some eat and I am hungry. It is possible to skip the entire thing until the end, but trust me, it's a pain in the ass at the end, and you don't want to fall behind your quest. about to get off. I'm gonna get some food in. Sorry folks, but I'm gonna call the stream for now. I think I probably wasted like a good two hours worth. Ooh, hour and a half. I think I got this. Alright, we'll go one more round. I'm sorry, I know I'm like promising that hey, I'll stop it now, I'll stop it now, but you know what? Screw it. Yeah, Q. <laughs> Why did you say so? You can talk, you know? I'm not gonna say you can't talk in my streams. You guys are allowed? Come on. It makes me feel better knowing people are watching and talking. I hate being lurkers sometimes, but I get if people are shot and such. I'm a horse, but if you can, if you want to talk, no one's gonna say no. All right, here we go. Still, 
I respect the ancient, I respect wisdom when I see it. <laughs> That's cool at least. Yes, the max point item would have been a chocobo grab. Choco grab. You get those commonly here. The highest one you'll ever have to dig for is like 300 points worth of chocobo sky. Ugh. Takes time. There's like about three more chocobo grabs here I want to find. Watch, let me show you. One, two, three. Yeah. I think like about three or four more I gotta find here. Oh, you mean the Royal Lord? Yes, yes, I have. The best place to hunt for the uh, the money, uh, points from there is Chocobo's Lagoon, especially at blue level uh, Chocobo. We have only the uh, Reef ability. You have 30 minutes, uh, 30 seconds to find them, but trust me, the points you get there are higher. Chocobo's Garden has higher point value, but it's more complex. Like, you gotta go over more area, cover more ground, and it's a pain. Ooh, it's like too short, but very fun. But yeah, the Robo Lords is like the perfect army you want to get to mage class characters like Vivi, I Ico, and um, Garnett, and Queena. I mean, a Dagger and Queena. Sorry, I keep seeing her original name instead of the actual name. And believe it or not, folks, I'm going ahead, but I'll tell you this. Garnett is not actually um, the female leads in the real name. I'll tell you about it later. There's a way to find out, but I can spoil it sometime when I get to the channel. Okay, yeah, sure. Hang on. Thanks for letting me know. I just didn't want to speak too too much. There we go. There we go. Okay, yeah. Thanks for the heads up. How's that? Better? Not too loud, is it? Bingo. Meow. <laughs> cool, thanks. Oh, yes, I have played Legend of Dragoon. I never got far in it, and I'm going to try to play it again. I'm going to put that as one of my streams because I never played it fully. It'll be a good challenge for me because I haven't beaten that game to a certain point. I had it before, but it locked up on me. I didn't know how to get to the next town and such. And above all, 
It was around the golden age of Blockbuster. Yeah, I know. I want to play it again, like I said. I heard it was a good game. It's like a forerunner to more some certain you know, role-playing games, but... Yeah, I, I heard. I want to play it, too. Ugh, not enough time. Dang, got four points. How many points do I got now? All right, hang on, let me see. Nah. <laughs> oh, really? He was jacked up? Nice. How far did you get on it, if I may? Ah. Uh, yeah, I hear you. I really shouldn't be saying it, too, but I do a couple of pirated games down here, too. Like, um... Not pirated, um... Downloaded on uh, emu games. Emulator games. Like, one of them I did was on uh, Psychic Filter. The original Psychic Filter? I'm not sure if anyone else saw them like me, but... Nice. I'll have to ask you how to beat it and how it, go, how it is like and such, but... Mind me to. I must start trying to find you if I can. I don't think I'm ever going to run out because Shaw Greens. <laughs> oh, really? You got some on myself? Nice. I ain't too weary to try and do it on a cellular device, honestly. I mean, I heard it runs better on some cellular devices, but... I'm too weary. Oh, and I found it! <laughs> I found it just when the timer hits zero. Oh! Damn, talk about bad luck there. <laughs> oh, God. I was like, right there! I had it! I bet you probably would have been a chocograph, too. He the bad luck. <laughs> like I said, there are sometimes I will not get even one stinking item because I'll be too busy. Oh, Parasite Eve. I played that game before. It was fun. Honestly, that game I wish they kept going. I hope they rebuild it or hope they bring it back in the remake. I love Parasite Eve. And you know what? I'm gonna make that a certain uh, stream one day. Like, you know, hey, y'all want me to play that? I'll play it. played number one fully, didn't finish the uh, extra battle, did not play two yet, but I've heard about uh, the third one, it was decent, but, oh, Phoenix Pion, nice, but yeah, short story short, I only played one, and I've beaten it before, but I didn't fully beat it, because like, I didn't do the extra um, dungeon, which I'll do when I can, because I know there's like, a little extra point in the story there with the extra dungeon. <laughs> I'll th I'll keep that in mind, but remember, I play some of these games for like um, prosperity's sake. Like I play for Death uh, Death Space on um, two, me three. Even though it's it was rushed and it was decent, it was all right. I didn't like it too much. I felt like it, they rushed too much good material on that one. And since I can't get the DLC for it yet again until I buy it for like um, PC, which I'm going to someday in the future. Oh, hell yeah, 15 seconds, baby. Let's double. All right. Eh, that's all. But yeah, I want to get Parasite Eve uh, 2 and 3 just for prosperity's sake. Play it and see how it goes. Okay, let's take a look at the next chocograph my homeboy found. Okay. One and two, I think, are left. Let's go take a look see if we can find them. After we find them, if we can, folks, or until I run out of money, I'm going to uh, stop the stream afterwards. 
I'm gonna get some to eat, and then I'm gonna go uh, return, uh, watch a movie with my uh, pops. Then I'll stream late night tonight again. It's currently 9.06 here in uh, the eastern seaboard of the U.S. 1107. Ooh. No, not 1107. That's. Yeah, is that? No, that's 1007. Am I right? It's 1007? I know when it says 22, it's like. Yeah, it's 10 o'clock. Sorry, my military timing is off. But I just want to make sure I'm right. It's not that. I mean, we use the uh, time, like military time, like uh, 200, uh, 2000 uh, 2, uh, hours, 200, uh, 2200 hours, 1700 hours, and blah, blah, blah. But that's like the military mostly uses it. I'm used to using it back when I was in R R R R ROTC when I was in high school. Hell yeah! Almost half a minute. That's more fun we need. I hope. What are the odds of me find eight items in one time? Two more items that I want to have the um, thing tell me, hey, you gotta stop, otherwise you're gonna dig up everything I planted. I had that happen to me way more times than I get better later on. You'll see, folks. Or to quote that fireman from, uh, it's a Mad Mad Merle. You'll see, you'll see. I love that movie. That movie was freaking hilarious. Spencer Tracy, Sid Caesar, um... What's his name? Mickey Rooney. Methyl er uh, Herman. Oh, I already said Spencer Tracy. Uh, Jonathan Win uh, Winters. That's a good movie. Trust me, if you guys ever find it, I highly encourage you, watch it. It helped, ins it helped inspire the movie Rat Race, if you remember that movie. Except Matt Race is a little more. Oh, everybody wins! I'm like, everybody's less than greedy as they were in uh, Rat Race. And, uh, it's a mad, mad, mad world. Come on, find it, find it, baby, come on! I don't know, find it. Oh, really? Again? <laughs> Jesus, that's twice that happened to me. But nah, yeah, um, U.S. uses both military and, um, standard time. Brazil. Hmm. I'm like I'm talking to a bird or a friend. Come on, baby, come on. You almost got it. Come on, Choco. Oh, I think I got the point. Ah, oh, no, I didn't. Damn it. If you find it within, um, like I said, in five seconds, of the original find you just found, you get a good bonus to it, like a five points extra bonus. Oh. Chocobo graph. Oh, 10. Ooh, 30 seconds. Or enough, I hope.
I'm about to right now. Never tent. Sorry about that, folks. Guest appearance. <laughs> Five bucks the minute I find it. Oh, no. Nah. Okay. Well, at least it didn't happen the third time to charm. Ooh, yeah, it's about nine o'clock. Folks, I'm gonna stop the stream from here. Then later on, we'll resume picking it up later on about an hour or so. It's been like an hour and a half, and I've been streaming like six videos. This is gonna be like the seventh one I made of the day. So we're gonna stop it here. We'll pick it up later on tonight in about an hour or so. Till then, this is your boy Jayun429. Thank you all for uh, coming and joining us. I hope you enjoyed the little mini game. It's a very good cash find and a good item find. Join me for part uh, seven. Let me see his fight. I mean, Gizzo and Luke's Grotto. There we go. Sorry. I gotta make a better tile. I'll have a better up later on. Till then, take care. God bless and have a good evening.